Hi guys, just a quick video to show you how to reassemble a handbrake assembly on a BMW E36. This will also apply to E46, E90, E82, 1 Series, 2 Series, 3 Series. Uh, most BMWs that have handbrake assembly within uh, the rear brake disc. So here on the floor you've got handbrake shoes, you've got the two retaining springs, um, the latch mechanism, uh, the little retaining pins with springs uh, and the adjuster and all you really need to reassemble this all back together is a little flat screwdriver like this now to start reassembly what you have to do is um, you have to assemble the handbrake shoes together so notice how the left hand side of the shoes is different to the right hand side of the shoes and how we've got the two different retaining springs um, one on the left one on the right so this one here lives on the um, mechanism side and this one here lives on the adjuster side and also note how these teeth here are different so on the left hand side you've got a slightly wider cutout and that's for the adjuster it sits in like that and on the right hand side um, you've got slightly narrower cutouts for the teeth uh, which sit like that and that one sits in like so so to start the reassembly what you need to do first is take the two handbrake shoes overlap them like so pop the adjuster in And then you can go ahead and insert this uh, spring. And you can open them up and there you go, that's ready to go. So the next step would be to assemble this um, latch mechanism back onto the handbrake cable. And you've got the pin which goes through here like so with the cable inside of course. And once it's in all the way it hides inside there and those little parts of the mechanism prevent that pin from dropping out and then you can just go ahead push the cable in and pop the mechanism and just let it rest there on these two bolts one at the top one at the bottom once you've done that take the handbrake shoes that you've just assembled open them up and slide them over right onto the teeth of the adjuster of the latch mechanism just like that and the next step would be to rotate the hub so it lines up with this hole and to install the retaining pins for the shoes so pop the retaining pin in like that get a little screwdriver and allen key in and you only have to rotate these 90 degrees so you've got the little line going through them like that so the line's got to be horizontal like that it's to be um, that way then you squeeze it through compress the spring rotate quarter of a turn 90 degrees and release and then repeat the same for the bottom half Finally, you need to insert this spring and attach it. So just slide it in from the top and clip it onto the lower one of the two handbrake shoes. So it just rests there. And then I use this screwdriver to just lift it up onto the upper bit. And then just click it in and just make sure you're sitting on the latch at the top and at the bottom 
give it a wiggle so it's nice and center and job done now you can go ahead and adjust the adjuster once you've installed um, the brake disc so put the brake disc on adjust the adjuster uh, go out on the adjuster all the way until uh, the handbrake shoes are fully engaged with the brake disc and then back it off seven times uh, seven seven clicks back it's what BMW TIS recommends I normally only do it five or six just um, so it gives me that firmer handbrake feel and then once this this end of things is done you can then move on uh, into the cabin uh, to carry on the adjustment on the cabin side which will adjust the uh, the latch mechanism that will vary from car to car on the E36 you've actually got um, nuts on the end of handbrake cables uh, it adjusts that way but on BMWs from 2005 onwards you actually have a self-adjusting locking mechanism which you just have to release uh, and it will click into place so thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time